Hey viewers, my name's Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on The Pagan Perspective, and this week our topic comes from our friend Tara, and she's asking us about pre-made versus original spells and rituals. So the question will be in the description as always, but essentially Tara is wondering about pre-made spells, or in other words, spells that other people have already written, spells or rituals, anything of that nature, things that people have already written that you might use for yourself versus original works or writing your own spells and rituals, and whether we think that either one of those is stronger, more potent, works better, anything like that. And yes, my voice does sound kind of froggy today, I apologize for that, my throat is a little bit scratchy, I think it's all the weather changing. Um, the dry air and I've been out in the cold wind a lot uh, going out places so that's probably not been good for it I apologize so I've been thinking about this topic for the last couple of days and in general my opinion is that original works or things that you write yourself work better because they're closer to you and it's really what you want but I have always said that I think you can use a pre-made spell and maybe tweak it to fit you if you don't like it exactly how it is and then what I've realized through thinking about it is that what I really mean is you could use any pre-made spell. Of course you could. I'm never going to say that you couldn't or you shouldn't. You can do whatever you want, whatever works for you. But in my mind, using a pre-made spell for me would work if I really truly resonated with every word, every syllable, every intent in every line of the thing. And for me, if that were not the case, that would be the reasoning for changing the words a little bit to fit me or writing my own if there's nothing even close to what I want. And I don't think that people should be afraid to write their own because there are some books, someone recently asked me about the Goodly Spell book, which I really enjoy, and the only thing that I said I don't agree with in that book is that they say all the time, no matter what, the more ancient the spell, the better and more powerful it is. I don't necessarily agree with that because, as I said, I don't think that it would do you any good if you don't personally resonate with it. So the example that I've come up with is, from a theater standpoint, it's always great to do new contemporary theater, okay? But what's also great are the classics that maybe happen to be written in verse. And a good example is people who understand Shakespeare can recite it with true meaning and feeling behind it because they understand what they're saying. But someone who doesn't get Shakespeare reciting a Shakespeare monologue, you can tell that they don't understand it because they're not getting the feeling. They're not getting it really how it's meant to be. You can really tell that difference and you can really feel that difference. When you understand the words that you're saying, it doesn't matter if they're in your first language. If you know what you're saying and you're really into it, you can get your passions behind it and it'll work for you. So I was thinking of some examples of pre-made things that I have used and there is a little goddess blessing, goddess prayer thing that comes with those little purple goddess pendants. If you've ever seen those, I've used them for my pendulums and things like that. There's a little goddess prayer that goes along with that that I have used in ritual. There are a lot of things online actually that people post for you to use such as prayers from other cultures and there's one that I really enjoyed. It's a Cherokee prayer and I wrote that into my book of shadows and I use that occasionally just how it is. I didn't rewrite it. You know, it's a prayer that already exists and I like it how it is. But then another example of a time that we've tweaked something with my magic class. Recently we were doing a ritual. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Who are you, Tom Tom? Really changing the whole course of my future by turning left. We were doing a ritual and we were trying to come up with a chant for everyone to say and we wanted it to be something fit to our intent but we didn't want it to be too difficult for people to remember to chant because you know this is kind of a first time ritual for this group it's magic class so it's the uh the group where we teach them one class a month and then this was the ritual culminating all the things that we learned you know it's very it was very basic kind of thing so what we ended up doing was we picked a fairly well-known chant with a fairly well-known tune and then we had everyone sing the first verse and then we changed the words of the second verse we wrote some words specific to our group's rituals intent to the tune of the same chant so it was easier for people to go along with it had some of the original words so they kind of got into the rhythm of it and then we had our own words which really fit our intent in the second verse and then 
there are definitely times where I've just written my own prayer or my own ritual thing or whatever. And a lot of workbooks, if you work through some books, they'll say, you know, your activity for this week or this month or whatever is to write your own circle casting and write your own whatever. So I've definitely done that. And so overall, I would say that I feel that personal things work better if you're not sure that you really resonate with a thing that's pre-made. And I personally don't like, for example, sometimes people have asked me for pre-made things, like they wanted me to write something or share something that I would say so that they could say it because you think I know what I'm doing, so you want to you want to do the same things I do. That's not necessarily the way to do it, um, but I've definitely helped people out that way before. But there are some people online who will post pre-made spells, you know, to the T, the exact list of ingredients and blah, blah, blah. And I just feel like everyone should know that those things are always able to be substituted. You can tweak it for yourself. So I am not personally one of those people who has decided to post ready-made spells or somewhere for you to reference and use as you will. I like to encourage people to write their own. But if people are really stuck, yeah, I do say, you know, in my ritual, I would usually have said something like this, and I would write it out for you, and you can tweak that. You don't have to say it exactly the same way. Something I forgot to say in my last take of the video is that I do believe that there are certain things out there, such as really well-known um, poems and things like that, of the pagan community, or any community in general actually, similar to the Cherokee prayer that I mentioned, that are things that numerous people over the years have said over and over in its exact form. And I do think that there is something powerful in repeating that same thing, such as reciting the Wiccan Reed, or the Witch's Creed, or any one of those poems, the Charge of the Goddess, things like that. Many, many people have said that exact same thing over and over, and they've used it in their rites, and they've said, and I think there's something great about that, about using that same thing. But I don't think that it's important to use those things just because they're important if they don't personally resonate with you as well. And another thing that I'd like to add is creating your own traditions, not as in branches of paths, but as in like family traditions or coven traditions where if you write something that you really like and the rest of your group really likes it and you pass that down from generation to generation and then it becomes many, many people in your family saying those same words over and over, I think that's just as powerful in its own way. So overall, what I feel is that it, whether it's pre-made or you wrote it yourself, as long as it resonates with you and you have true feeling and passion and intent behind it, it's gonna work for you. Anything of that nature is gonna work better than something that you don't have your true highest energy behind, your most potent energy behind. If you're someone who's really uncomfortable with writing your own things because you don't like your writing style or you feel like your vocabulary isn't good enough, and so doing your own would be less comfortable for you than reciting a Shakespeare sonnet, then go ahead and use that sonnet. Use whatever feels like it's truly the most powerful for you. That's about all I can say. Gave you some examples there. Nice to hear from you again, Tara. I know we get a lot of good topics from you. Thank you so much. Really busy time in my life. Lots of new things going on. Keep an eye on my personal channel. Any updates, I will get to you eventually. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to be awesome. Blessed be. And goodbye.